Hey, welcome everyone. This is a special webinar. Uh, this webinar title today is Peace of Mind Trading Futures. And this is a, an April 20th and it's Thursday morning webinar. And as everybody, everybody should know, everything that we do, say and do at Viper Trading Systems is for educational purposes only. Futures trading, Forex trading, any kind of financial instruments trading involves risk. Therefore, there's always risk of loss. You should only trade discretionary capital, and that is money that you can afford to lose. Nothing said in this webinar. Other webinars I have, live trading room or anything else with Viper Trading Systems should never be construed as trading or investment advice. And as always, everyone does trade at their own sole discretion. Any questions before we get started? By the way, when I talk about peace of mind trading futures, you know, that's kind of a little bit of a, you know, oxymoron, so to speak, because most people I've talked to that trade futures, you know, they get a little bit rattled. You know, they get upset, they revenge trade and things like that. But you don't have to do that. You just have to wait for that particular trade to come to you. Now, if you're an aggressive trader, you're going to be getting in and out of trades pretty quickly. You're taking chances even against trends by simply taking little breakouts, things like that. Uh, but we also uh, do a very, very conservative way of trading, and that is to where we wait for a stair-stepping mid-band. We get the first mid-band after a trend change, and we try to get maybe even a second one. But by the third or fourth one, you want to be looking the other direction more than likely, because that's what markets do. You know, they're continually doing one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and then back one, two, three again, and then again, retrace, and then back the other way. So that happens in futures trading, okay? Now, our charts are so accurate and, and advanced that they will get you into these trades at those proper times. Because you know the whole whole key to trading is not to necessarily jump in and let's say buy long for the day or buy you know sell short for the day, uh, because you're going to want to get uh, in and out. Because we will literally be long, and we will be short on any given day. Uh, right now, I'm showing the title page, John, because I want to go over a couple of things uh, real quick. You can see the, the title page here. Uh, Basically, uh, Viper Trading Systems went into business in 2008. That's when uh, uh, my uh, partner from the past, uh, Charles, was with me. And uh, basically, we started trading together in the latter part of 2008 and then into 2009. And by 2009, about May, we had actually gone over to Ninja Trader and uh, really uh, just made our business go through the roof as far as that goes because ninja traders are very big platform so they've got a lot of uh you know people that are on it so we're, we're exclusively ninja trader we are ninja trader eight nowadays we do also have ninja trader seven scripts if somebody wants them but it's it's mostly obviously into the eight nowadays obviously right it's been out for four years okay so this is our website right here it's a very intuitive type website because, you know, for instance, if uh, you need to contact me at all, you just simply go to the contact link and you put in your first name, last name, email address, and your phone number and a brief message and then click, click submit. Now, this isn't like uh, the old days, you know, where, and even the days nowadays with most vendors where they'll get back with you when they decide to. You know, how many of you have had vendors get back with you like, you know, 48 hours later or three days later or next week? Well, we promise within 40, uh, within 24 hours. But to be truthful, I need to actually just take this down because I reply within within hours as far as that goes. You know, and even sometimes within minutes because these messages go right to my cell phone, uh, Linda's cell phone. She t She takes care of all the licensing and everything. And we've even got uh, cell phones that'll do the same thing with uh, son and daughter. So if I happen to be tied up or something like that, my son can even answer questions. You won't even know as far as that goes because it'll come from Viper. But uh, we do also have ways to get a hold of me directly at my desk right here at this phone number. Most vendors don't give you the luxury of that, but we do here at Viper Trading Systems. Now I've got it turned off right now because I'm in a webinar but uh, this number will reach me right at my desk. This is my email address right here. 
and Linda's email address, I, I need to go ahead and put it on here too. Hers is Viper Licensing at ViperTradingSystems.com. Okay. And she takes care of anything to do with your license with Ninja and things like that. Okay. So basically, you can get in touch with us like this. Our website is also where we have a little chat widget here in the bottom. And you can click on it and it'll go to chat support. Now, if you've never used this, it'll actually even go to a little chart with a video but I've used it so you know it just goes to this little chat support simply the same thing just click it and it'll bring up you put your name your phone number email address and a message and that also will go directly to our cell phones and to our uh, customer relations management program that we now use and we get back with people very very quickly okay that's one thing I pride myself in with Viper is that uh, for the 13 years I was in business with my business partner, our support has always been the best. Okay, you can even, for instance, if you need help putting scripts on, you just click right here and get a team viewer and you get a team viewer ID and password for me, call my number and I'll help you put on your scripts by remote and I can do it from you know anywhere in the world. So as long as you've got an internet connection, I can help you, okay? Now, pardon me, uh, when you're a member with us, we do have an area of our site that you just simply go into and log in, okay? Uh, let me just get rid of these and I'll show you how that works. All right, right here on uh, Futures Trading with Viper Trading Systems, you know, our, our homepage, you just simply will click your login once you're a member with us, or even if you're on a trial, we also give logins for trials. And, you know, you go through like stages like from you know watching free videos, for instance, to a trial to actually being a full-fledged member, okay? And you'll use the same login. You simply click login. And if you're a member, you get this page here that has members area, free video library, weekly links for the room, download the latest scripts. And I always keep the very latest scripts on the website. That way you're always updated with the very best. And each one of these pages opens up and you see, for instance, under members area right here, there's a lot of training, okay? Because one thing I pride myself in and with my uh, partner of 13 years, uh, Charles, who actually, uh, he passed away in September of last year, um, we've always kept it where you have excellent training on our website, okay? So, you know, you go to the, members area and you just scroll down the page and you watch whatever webinar you want to watch uh, you want to know, know how to use a bar close trade on object trader just click that little video right there it's a quick video if you want to know how to do a region trade now you might not even know what some of this is but i'm going to show you okay so this is kind of what we're about we're about trading futures and teaching as the trades are called out i firmly believe that if I was just to put a chart on and start just trading, that you wouldn't learn a thing. Okay, and if you don't learn a thing, you're never gonna trade for a living. If you've ever looked at the statistics, most people fail trading futures. But why do they fail? They go from vendor to vendor, they try different things, they get so confused they don't know what they're doing. Okay, if you come with a vendor that actually teaches you why you're getting in a trade, and then if we're wrong, we will get out of it very quickly, then you're learning as you trade futures, okay? So let me show you a chart. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the screen for just a second and we'll go into a chart, all right? And this is about the time a lot of people get up. You know, for instance, in New York City, that's six o'clock in the morning. In, uh, you know, California, that's five o'clock in the morning. So that's a pretty good time, you know, to get up to trade futures. Okay, if you're one of the really early birds, you know, this is way back here at four o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, or pardon me, five o'clock in the morning, Eastern time, and two o'clock in the morning, Pacific time. I'm sleeping at that time, so I don't care about that move, but I do care about this move, okay? So if I get up, and let me go over uh, real quick, because there's some people I see that I've never seen your names before, and welcome to this webinar, because I'm gonna show you how to have peace of mind in your futures trading, okay? So basically what our charts have always done is we have backgrounds that change colors, 
we have a transitional background that changes colors, and we have this midband that changes colors. Okay, when this midband goes from one extreme to the next, then you're looking for those midband trades and those little breakout trades. Okay, um, to give an example, like right this very moment, see that midband right there? That's kind of telling us that we're probably looking for shorts because they are breaking high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high again, and they're breaking that one, two, three. So when you see this type of thing, more than likely they're breaking down. But you know, if you don't take the breakout, what you're waiting for is the retrace. And that's what we teach at, at Viper Trading Systems is how to see that, that retrace. And we've also built some great tools that will find that retrace for you. And matter of fact, even on the trial that we've got even right now, we've actually got every uh, tool that we've got with Viper Trading Systems, even with the new stuff, even for our trials. So if you haven't taken a trial, be sure to take one. All right, but anyway, we do have a strategy that's called Object Trader. And you just simply click on strategies, right click in your chart, go to strategies. The newest one is 2.40. Okay, so that's gonna have every feature in it that I've got on mine. It'll have the same thing on yours. And you just simply either double click it or add it. And then once you add it, you just simply enable it. You put it in whatever account you want it in. I'm gonna show you a little bit of playback so you can see how this works. So we'll click okay. And the little uh, strategy comes up, okay? Now, since this has been uh, put out just recently on some of these new features, we have a new tool called Auto Region that'll just simply draw a region for you all day long and you can cl then click whenever you wanna take the trade, okay? Uh, we have uh, Wedge, which is actually simply a, uh, like you can do it like a triangle or you can do it like just a ray. You can take a trade like that. We have a mid-band trade. We have a phantom trade and we have these new predictor trades. Now, the way predictor will work is, uh, let's say for instance, right now, this is a, a mid-band that's starting to crook down. Notice that it's no longer stair-stepping up. Okay, it went sideways for quite a while and now it's stair stepping down. See the stair step? This is what you're looking for when you're gonna trade our system. Now this hadn't stair stepped a lot just yet, but it is changing the mid-band color. So what you can actually do at that point is say, you know what, I want to get this next trade. I can clearly see I've got a low here, a high here, and a lower low, even right now. So you'll draw a line on your chart and you'll say, okay, I don't want to go any higher than that. Because frankly, if it does, this is just a fake out and it's not going to be a trend change, okay? And I teach all that in my webinars too. So with this little mid-band like this, you can actually put this on require trend, put it on predictor above, because we're looking for a white predictor to show up to take a trade. And once that white predictor shows up, you can actually then tell this, like maybe you want a short out of the top of it or a short even out of the bottom of it. And you can even tell it how many ticks you want it from the predictor itself. Okay, so you could be ready for that thing ahead of time. Okay, so basically uh, what we are, since we're not as a rule, except at the opens of the markets. Now I will be a breakout trader at that point, but most times you want to be a retracement trader. See how that mid-band crooked down even a little bit more? Now, if this draws a predictor, then this would actually uh, fire this predictor if we have this turned on right here, okay? Now, right now, it's not even drawing a predictor because it's calculating what kind of movement's going on right now, okay? So as this does a little stair step, it will draw a predictor as soon as it sees, well, basically, it's got to see where the support resistance, it's looking at Fibonacci's, it's looking at trend lines, it's looking at measured moves, it's looking at quite a few things, okay? So right now, see so you don't even have one, okay? Now I'll speed this up just a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. And th this little tool is, is available 
to trade in, in SIM on a trial, but it, live on your uh, um, a member. Okay, now you're gonna see more than likely if they start, it starts figuring out this price action right here, there's your predictor right there. Okay, now notice that predictor showed up right there. Okay, and it draws a box around the predictor. So as soon as that price goes into that predictor and then rolls out of it, it would fire a trade. You could of course do as many as you want. You know, you could even turn it on again and see so you can get like a total of three or whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's a box is what it actually is. Okay, and then you can simply look at your chart, draw your fibs, and I would pretty much think it, if it's going to break down, it would go down to a 38 or even a 50. So what, what I would do is move one target all the way down, move another target to like that 50, another, another target to like that 38. OK, now this is going a little bit higher. That's OK. We've got our stop in. We can even put our stop with exit on close, which means it has to close above that line. And we could even add another one if we wanted to, but we are in three, so that's plenty. Okay. Now you don't have to do three. We've even got a feature on Object Trader that's called uh, Max Quantity. And if you click this to like say three, you'll notice that it still stays with the three. But what if I just wanted two? It'll automatically sell one or buy to cover one. See there? Because I told it, hey, I don't want more than two. Now, maybe I do want three, so I could simply turn that back on, okay? You can even use this. See how it just kicked in that, that third one right there as it went through that box, okay? This is a pretty cool featured little tool, actually, because what we're looking for, and this piece of mind that I'm talking about, this is about an 85% probability trade setup. Now, if you could have 85% odds set up on, like, the lottery for you know like a billion dollars or something wouldn't you jump on it but instead people go out there by the tens of millions and take a chance spending 20 to 200 or 500 dollars or whatever and have no chance whatsoever of making money because only one person out of like 375 million people get it right but yet in trading what if you had an 85 percent probability trade set up that you could take to the bank and this is one that actually works all the time, okay? Um, you'll notice, for instance, that you're up pretty nicely on that, okay? If you traded this this morning, by the way, gold was actually very, very good like that, okay? And of course, you can take uh, profit anytime. You can just simply say, you know what? I don't want you to bounce here. I wanna go ahead and take my profit. But there's another neat thing about Viper 2. Watch this. I'll, I'll just draw this. Draw your lightning. Lightning 1 right here. Now, notice that's red, so it's a little harder to see. But see where your swing is right there? That shouldn't take that out if it's going to continue heading down. So you just bring your stop down to that little swing right there. That's how easy that is to do. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. And you could, of course, take profit anytime you want. I mean, if, if, if I'm trading and I see, wow, you know, that's a $700 trade, I might just hit the button. Now, I don't care if it goes down any further. But you can also draw on your charts and see where they should be going. There's a 50% retracement right there. I'd more than likely at least think it's going down here, wouldn't you? So could you take it there? And then maybe, let's see if it could go deeper. What, what about 61? There's 61% right there. And you can fade these a little bit. You know, I, I usually do that, fade them just a little bit so, they, so they'll get them. You know, draw your line on your fibs and then fade them just a little bit. Because a lot of times uh, the high frequency traders will be fading those lines a little bit, okay? This is also an auto fib. Now, what an auto fib simply means is that this will keep drawing as these prices continue, okay? Let's get this out of the way for just a minute so we don't lose it, and I'll show you something. There's resistance right there, by the way. See it right there on the, the left? 
So you could trust that, right? You could, you could definitely, definitely trust that. Okay. Now, if this goes up like a little higher, let's just go ahead and we've got two left on. You could actually put your stop. Let's see where next swing up is. There's one right here looking left to trade the right. You could put your stop right there and be pretty safe on that trade, I would think. See right there? They've already broken it. So would they check it again? They might. Okay, but you could always take one off. You know, if this starts dilly-dallying around, take one off and just ride the runner. So I've designed object traders so that you can intuitively use the little tool and take your trades, okay, and then keep your stops. Now, keep in mind, I can also put my stop to run mechanically down. What if I want my stop right at line four? I can actually go to power trend, line four, engage my trail and it'll drop right to line four i can offset it even a little bit if i want to but now as long as this doesn't hit that stop i can ride this trade for a gusto i can just get this target out of the way we don't even care where it goes because we've got our stop in what if i wanted to put my stop at line two which is right here i just simply change this to line two engage the trail and now if it even touches that line right there, I can get out of that trade. And that will also stair step down. Now there's 61%, I'd probably be hitting the button. What if you went to line one? If it takes that, we're out. If it closes above it, there you go, you're out. See, it bounced right off of the 61%, okay? So the, the beauty of our scripts is actually that, that they're just a, a phenomenal way to trade. Now, keep in mind that right now you're still stair-stepping down. So what about another predictor? What do you think? Could it hit another predictor? Well, let's just try it for just even just two contracts for 12 ticks if it happens to hit it. This is the resistance area right there. Predictor catches that. Okay. And then we simply turn it on. And if it hits it, now if it goes through it, hey, we'll, we'll get out of this trade. But the beauty of this, uh, these tools that we got here is uh, I've designed this to where you can actually get these trades quite nicely. Let me get this out of the way. We'll go that one more time. I accidentally moved my stop through the price. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and add one. And let's see. Uh, oh, I know why. We've got our, uh, we got our trail enabled. Sorry about that. Let's just go ahead and go one. That's out of the box. We had our trail enabled. That, that doesn't disengage. And the reason I did that on this particular version of Object Trader is because you can set your stop ahead of time that way. So in other words, if I get in a trade, like let's say at a mid band, okay, I could have my stop lingering at line five automatically as I get into it and it would stair step it down with it. Okay, so it's pretty cool. And there's a, a target right there out of a predictor. Okay. Now, if you're looking at gold, like right now, I've got a chart over on another computer that I actually I want to show you this. And we won't take too long today because I want to offer you some things. But what I just talked about, okay, let's go to live data. I'm going to disconnect the, the uh, playback. And we're going to go to live data. And bear with it just a second, it's loading. And I'll show you, bear with me a second, I'm going to start a new chart because when you when you start Apex a lot of times, it's best to actually start with a, a new chart because I went from playback and playback is a little different than your regular data. So bear with it just a second, I'll get that chart up. Anybody have any questions on this so far? This is absolutely a pretty cool way to make a living. And I'm going to show you how accurate this is by simply going into gold. And what I just explained, how often this works out. Trend change to trend change. Okay, so let me get a gold chart. And I'll show you the screen again. Now, what I'm going to show you first, though, is this little deal right here. All right, notice that 
you're stair stepping on your mid band. So what are you looking for? You're looking for shorts. That's called a phantom trade, by the way. This little trade right here, we take on that bar. That's called a phantom trade. It's got a little alert on it if you want. All right, this is mid band trades right here. You take those trades. But what happened as this goes sideways, okay? You can clearly see you've got a low, a high, a higher low, and a higher high. So are they starting to break up on this? Because they're, they're starting to get higher lows and higher highs? Well, we'll see. But see there, they broke this, okay? And what did I say that we're looking for since we're retrace traders? We're going to be looking for a stair-stepping mid-band like that. See that stair-stepping mid-band right there? So when that actually comes down to that predictor area and that mid-band, see it? See it right there? That is a mid-band trade right there. Just like I was showing you on the other one, except the other one was short. That is a long mid-band trade. And you know what it did? Just like that. Notice how the predictor picked it up. Okay. So if a person was trading this, look at this. I didn't even show this one, but this is, remember, it was stair-stepping, flat-lined, breaks, kisses, and rolls. That's a predictor trade right there for a short. That's a phantom trade for a short. That is a mid-band trade for a long. And what I've done is I've developed some tools that you can take these trades and, you know, just rest assured you've got you a good trade. Now, let me show you something else. Uh, we can't take a trade now, obviously, because it's already shot up. But let me show you a little tool that I've added here. It's pretty cool. We'll just leave this in SIM for right now. It's no big deal. All right. We've got a tool on here called Region Auto. Now, Region Auto, if you hit the insert button, it will draw on the last two fully formed bars. Okay. So now, naturally, you would want a retrace of some kind, right? So if I was looking at this, I see a thrust, retrace, thrust. Let's go ahead and do a Fibonacci on it. I'd want it to at least pull into the mid band, which is 50%, a little below it, right here at uh, 61, and then the 50s at mid band. Okay, so basically what you're waiting on is you're waiting for a pullback. Okay, now notice how our little uh, tool uh, is actually drawing. Now, could you actually even short this up here? Well, I wouldn't recommend it because the background's the right color and everything. But that is breaking a region, and, you know, there are a lot of people that will. But let's just watch and see if it comes down, and, and uh, it may take longer than we're going to be here. But uh, this will also draw a predictor, by the way. If you turn the region auto off and say we want a predictor below now because it's longs, then we would just simply wait for it to draw. Okay. Now, I don't personally like this small of a burst without it being a 61. So this is kind of a sweet spot, in my opinion, right here for a trade on uh, crude oil. Not so much bouncing right here. Okay. You can also go to your full fib, turn that off, turn it back on, and go to this one and say, okay, 38% is not bad. See it right there? 38% is not bad at 201540 and you wouldn't really want to go down as low as the 61 because it's going to be taking your swing out. See? So for this to continue up, this is also what we call the line of the sand long short. So anything below this and kiss and roll would be a short. Anything above this, you're looking for longs. Now, in that trading room that I run five days a week, I go over trades like this every single day. Okay? I'll go over some of the ones that were called in the room this morning, as a matter of fact. These little trades right here, we actually had a line drawn because this was actually a 61% retracement from this move to this move. Okay, so this was kind of a little sweet spot of support. Okay, if you do your fib, you'll see it. All right, but we, we simply did some trades like when they did this little little uh, thrust retrace, box it in, get 10 ticks. 
Some of our people then shorted the Phantom, got their 10 ticks. Another right here breaks above, get your 10 ticks. Breaks above, get your 10 ticks. You can actually do that with these little boxes that draw. And, uh, you know, in this type of stuff here, trade it both ways. Now, if you're a conservative trader, you would only take the color of the mid band, phantom, phantoms, phantoms, but you would have missed this trade I called too, because I nailed this trade down here at 2016.60, and I called it as it bounced off that support right there. And and why did I do that? Well, for one thing, it was news. It was it was you could just tell what it was doing. You get a feel for it after a while, and we nailed this big trade. But then look what happened. It starts breaking down again. And what are you looking for? First time in the mid band after a trend change. Predictor trade, and there it was. I mean, with these scripts right here, you can pretty much take it to the bank and realize that you have peace of mind in your trading and you'll be able to do quite well. Now, I'm not gonna promise you that you're gonna learn this in like a week because this little trader right here has been in development for like eight years. It, it's got everything you can think of on it. You've got region trades, which simply means a box. You just simply, let me go over here. You just simply hit it and it draws a box, okay? If you wanna trade a region, you can actually just activate the top and bottom of the box. See, that's that's right. Right where we'd said it should bounce, right about that mid band. See that right there? Now, is it going to? Well, you could box it in. You don't have to draw it this big of a box. Okay. But that's a region box. Here's an auto region box right here. Let me draw it. And here's even a bar close trade, which you can simply take a bar close up or down. You've got wedge trade, which means you can actually take a ray type break you know for instance if i wanted a wedge type trade i just simply click wedge it draws my little lines let me get rid of the others that don't count this is my wedge right here and so you can actually utilize that thing say something like that even and if it touches that line you could actually take it see see how it touched it but didn't that reinforce just what i was talking about a few minutes ago i said watch for a predictor and there's your trade that's already got five or six ticks. And that's not a shabby way to make a living because with two contracts, that's $120 and you could hit the close button in a second if you wanted to. Okay. So again, we built some great tools and what you're going to watch, you're going to watch the stair-stepping mid band. And then if it starts flatlining and starts stair-stepping the other way, you're looking for the opposite trade. So you know what you're looking for every single time you get on your computer, because right now you're just looking for longs, right? It's stair-stepping. I even called that before it got there. And this is real data too, by the way, this isn't playback now, okay? So remember your first one, oh, that's wedge. I can't delete it. I gotta just move it. But see this trade right here, right before I open the little room here, you know, that this is what they do. They'll they'll thrust up, they'll pull back, they'll get a higher low if they're gonna head up. That's a higher low than that, they head it up. Okay, this little trade right here is going back in your face a little bit. This one, usually what I do on that is if it goes back in that box, I'll get out of that trade because they could go deeper. You know, we, we could look at our fibs again, okay? But, We've designed this tool though to where you can you can buy at market, sell at market, buy at ask, sell at ask, buy at bid, sell at bid. You even have right click trades, which you can simply position your cursor wherever you want it and take a trade. Just right click and buy market, buy limit. That's all part of it too. And uh, it puts in your stops depending on how you've got it set up in the little trader. Uh, I've got mine set at 15 and then 12, 20, 25, and 40. That's the default. But you can even set, for instance, let's say you like to scalp. Uh, right click and go into your strategy. Disable it so that you can change things. Apply it so that you can change things. And then you just simply go down and say, okay, 
I want my stop instead of being 15, let's say you wanted it to be 10. And maybe you like to go for eight ticks instead of 12, eight ticks. You like to go for 12 on like your second target. Third target, you let it run, something like that. Then you just simply save a template and we could call this eh, like scalp. And then you just save it. And then when you load this, it's going to remember those settings that you just did. So you're 8, 12, and 30, just like that. Okay. But if you stopped Object Trader, and let's say you take it off the chart and go back, then it's going to remember the default instead. So you have to load your template, in other words. So see if I load this on the chart right now, this is going to remember the defaults because we didn't. Well, it it automatically loads the defaults is what it gets down to. See the 12, 20, 25, and 40. But I can simply say, you know what? Load. I want to load my other one. I don't know why that's not letting me load that. Just a second. That's why. All right. Load my other template. There we go. Scalp. All right. And then when you go into this, it will be that particular template. See there are 8, 12, and 30 that we just saved. So you can do about anything with this you want. I've even got people, uh, for instance, that let's say that you wanted to go for a max loss of 400 bucks. Okay. So you put this at max loss of 400, you put it at a max profit of say a thousand, and then you put it at a drawdown of say 15%. Well, the way this will do, this would trade where if you hit 400, it'll come up with a little mess that says <laughs> you, you lost. Uh, but if you hit a thousand dollars, it will kick in this little drawdown and then it will keep up with that. Okay. And by the way, we've even got features on here for reversing a trade, exit on close, reverse at stop, reverse at target. How, how many of you have had where you know where an exact target is and you think, gosh, I wish I'd reverse there. You can know that quite a bit ahead of time by just simply drawing measured moves on your chart. And then you can reverse a trade if you want. See this little trade right here on the predictor. You know, this is like an ABC so far. You could actually box that in and take the trade. Okay. So let's see, we're 1138. We're only about 40 minutes. So I think I'll run it about five or seven more minutes. Anybody have any questions on this? Because what we've really done literally is built some of the best tools that are out there that, that money can buy. And you're still looking for longs right now. You're not looking for shorts yet. Okay. By the way, just a quick heads up, just to let everybody know, um, with with this room that I run five days a week, I open the room 10 minutes till 8 Central Time, because I'm in Central Time. So I'm diagnosing the charts ready to go for 8 a.m. when oil starts. Okay, we like to trade oil right out of the gate, and we like to trade gold right out of the gate. Okay, so basically, uh, when I open that room, I'm going to have the charts diagnosed somewhat, ready to go, and then we'll get some nice trade setups. Okay. Always remember, it's the first one out of the gate that's 85%. This one's closer to 60. Okay. The third one is, you know, like half and half, so to speak. But this first one is the one you want. First one out of the gate. Boom. See it? First one out of the gate. Boom. Second one right here is a little bit more iffy and it's slowing down a little bit too, but it's still a legitimate mid-band trade. You just got to be careful with it because the first one's the one that you, re you really want. Okay. So when I open that room, I'm going to be calling trades on the chart in real time so that we can all get them. We'll talk about boxing them in using our, you know, predictor trades, things like that. Uh, we'll also be looking at three other charts, because I do look at YM. Don't trade it. I look at ES. 
I trade mostly oil and gold. See how that bounced out of that box? You could take that trade. It, it, we've got the tools to do it. And once you get yourself 10 ticks like that, you bank it, you know, and then ride a runner. You could put your runner with your stop right under the box or right inside the box. That way you don't lose any money on the trade. See, that's about a 60. I think uh, we figured this one to be about 65% probability, but that's still better than a coin toss. And since we're tight stops on it, you don't get hurt on it very often either. So where's this trade uh, going? Anybody? What do you think? Well, let's see if it's done a measured move yet. Thrust, retrace. See, it's done its measured move pretty much right through there. See, it just hit it perfectly. So what's your next measured move? Well, it's this to this to that. Look to the left to trade the right, and you'll also see that's where they broke down earlier too. So is that a legitimate target for that trade? Well, predictors say you better take some profit right here. So I always draw a line at my predictor. And if you've got like two contracts on, you want to protect some of it right there. And then you're riding a runner and you have no, uh, you know, you have no downside on this trade unless they slap the fire out of it and they, they blow through your stop. That doesn't happen very often. Okay, so see how that works? And, and we box them in and take the trades. Your target's right there at that line. You'd put your stop right here at the box. And we also use like line six as a stop because see, this is thrusting up pretty nicely. Now, what you want when you get a trade like this is you wanna get the initial thrust, you wanna get a pullback without taking you out with a higher low and then you want to get another thrust, okay? Now, you don't know exactly where it's pulling back and it may not even pull back at all but you will always, after a while, get a thrust, a pullback, and then another thrust. See how this works in real time? This isn't playback data. I was explaining it all so we didn't activate it, but you can clearly see I drew the box and that's where I would have taken it. And our little region would have taken it there too because you just turn it on. Okay? So right there shows you that you could have peace of mind trading because how much heat did you feel on that trade, even if you got in at mid-band right there? You didn't feel any, just very little at all. You're right at a top, you're thinking, hmm, do I wanna hold on to this trade or do I don't wanna take the profit? Now, if you wanna to try to ride a gusto trade, you wanna get a thrust, a pullback, and another thrust. So use your fibs. And I wouldn't want this to pull back much more than right here and get another thrust. Now, if it gets one where it's up here, that, that's even better. But you see what I'm getting at? In other words, you gotta have a, a, a low, a high, a higher low, and then a higher high to continue heading up. But you could have taken profit right here and literally gotten, you know, that that's like a $400 trade with two contracts or better, okay? Try that on a 15 minute chart or a five minute chart or a, you know, some big Ranko or something like that. You'll find that these four range bars work quite well. Okay. Beautiful box in type trade. Any questions on this so far? I would like to have every single one of you join up with me. I don't have a, a big buy-in or anything like that. You've probably been to webinars before where somebody said, well, you know, we want $5,000 up front, you know. No, I've got a trial for free. If, you, if you've not had our trial, you can take our trial. I don't try to talk anybody in coming in until they have. Uh, but if you do want to be a part of Viper Trading Systems, uh, if you go to our website, And let me go ahead and go to the website. I think I took that all down, didn't I? Yeah, I'll just put it back up. All right, if you go to our website, you'll notice that under the pricing, our trial is zero. Our Viper Pro is $3.99 a month. Now this is actually including all trade calls. This is including the scripts. This is including everything that we've got. But 
You don't have to do that, okay? You got an email and I offered you $150 off of that. And I even sweetened it a little bit too because all you have to do is join up with me at 249, use this discount code for a uh, Apex account, $50,000 account, and I'll buy that account for you. Now granted, it's at 90% off, so I'm not buying a lot right now because Apex is really on sale, okay? But I'll give you an Apex account just for joining up with us and you get to keep that uh, price for as long as you're with us too. And I can tell you this, with, with what I've learned over the years and everything of how to call trades, that would have more than paid for your month's fee right there. And I've already called the trade and I also called it out if you want it out of it. But if you want to try for this for the gusto, then put you a stop just underneath these little, little bars right here because they'll probably wick them. See right there, they're trying to wick it. And then if they pop it, they'll take it on up. Now, if they close below this, you might want to get out of that trade because otherwise you'll, you'll go all the way back possibly to your box. Okay, but that's an excellent trade setup. Okay, uh, did you say this works on minute charts or am I error listening, John? Well, basically, I mean, you could use it on minute charts if you wanted to, but look how beautiful these are. Okay, let me, let me put the same thing on minutes. Let's do like a minute chart. See the difference? Now, I personally like, see, because I could have gotten in here where your minute chart, you'd probably get in a little bit later, like maybe through here, possibly, you know, on like maybe this bar right here. So I kind of like the, uh, the four range chart. Now, I do have with your subscription, though, we've also got Ranko bars. You can actually go to your data series. Uh, go down to uh, type of bar, go down to Ranko bars, and we've got like a 2-4 that you can use. That's a beautiful little bar. I've got a 3-6 that, that a lot of our people like. A little bit bigger bar though, see what I mean? Uh, personally, if you use the Ranko, I would use the 2-4. Now, I've got some people, I'll show you another bar that, that they like too, is a one three. Now this is actually a one range bar with a three tick uh, rollover. That's a pretty fast bar. See there, that's a fast bar. I don't like this one as well myself uh, because it's it's a little too fast. But I don't mind this one at all, and I use this sometimes myself even. This two four is a beautiful bar. Okay, so we've got that as part of your subscription. Uh, everything I've shown you here, by the way, uh, you don't have to worry about, oh, Gary, uh, what if I uh, want all your tools? How much is that? This is all my tools. This is everything. You'll have everything that I've got, and I'm even uh, the one that actually does everything but the coding. Ever, ever since Viper's been in business, I've been uh, the idea man, so to speak, on getting these uh, scripts built. See how that pulled back just like I said it would? You know, you just you, and could you keep that trade? Absolutely, because you really just didn't want it going much lower than this where I said that 61 was. Anything above that, you can keep that and you'd be riding a gusto. Now, what I like to personally do is when it gets a thrust and a pullback, that's when I'll draw my trend line. So if you're in this trade, you'd stay with it as long as it doesn't go below that trend line. Pretty good way to trade. I've developed the tools so you can use them. Mid-band trades, phantom trades, uh, predictor trades, everything so that you can simply just trade away. But rest assured when you get in a trade that you've got your stop in place, you know, you've got your targets if you, and, and in the room, I'll call the targets on it so that you'll know where it's going. Bear with me one second. Uh, when the market's sideways, David, the market was sideways this morning. I called these trades too. Right here. Right here, the market was sideways. 
this is when I open the room right here. Open the room at 750. That's a phantom trade. Short. That's also a long that little see the little stair stepping box it in. That was a 10 tick long too. That trade was called. That trade was called. Uh, as it goes up here to these tops and everything, see these predictors again? Short, short. This is a phantom trade, perfect short. Another phantom trade, see the color of the background? That's a phantom trade, short, short, short. This one didn't do phantom. And then this trade, remember, I said I got in at 2016.60. This was actually right after the news. I saw it bounce off support and it was the fourth time. Anybody heard of the four time rule? A lot of traders watch for that right there. And it bounced quickly. I mean, it literally at nine o'clock when the news came out, it went like this, boom, boom. And we literally nailed that trade right through here, 2016.60. This trade here was called in the room. Now that's more of a trending trade. There's a phantom trade, okay? But even in the sideways stuff, see how our predictors nail those trades, boom, boom. Phantom trades is what you want when they're sideways. You don't want the mid-band trades as much. You do, however, if you watch the little swings, you can take these trades even on trend lines. You know, to give an example, you know, what, what if you said, you know what, I'll just draw a trend line and if it breaks it, I'll box it and see if I can get it back up again. You can do that, okay? But even sideways, just like that. And then when it quit being sideways and it broke up, Beautiful trade, by the way, called out in the room. Mid-band trade that got you at least 10 ticks, but then this little trade was called, see this right here? High, low, lower high, lower low. When they start breaking this area right here, they were literally trying to head down, okay? We didn't take it there, but we did take it when it came down to this phantom area and it still didn't retrace at all. We nailed that little puppy short right there on that box. And that was called out live in the room too. Is it possible to put labels on the lines? I understand mid-band. Oh, I'll go over those with you. Uh, you can go to forexfactory.com, John, on your question. He's asking where the news is. You can go to forexfactory.com. Okay. Now, see how this is stair-stepping again? took out the high just a little bit. Now you gotta start watching when they barely take out highs. So you want a higher low again so that they can take out these highs, okay? Now, if they do this as a high and they barely took it out by a wick, see that wick, then this is not heading up any longer and I would be already pulling out of that trade simply because it's, it's just not, doing the oomph to get up there. Now, if you want to hold this trade, what you'd have to do would be to go thrust, retrace, hold it with this line, for instance, maybe even down here where that little swing is right there on the left, look left to trade the right. And it has to stay out of this little box right here. I mean, you can ride a trade all day long if you want to, because they'll otherwise they'll just fake you and lots of times. You know, when I get in a trade like this, I just decide, do I want to get two contracts and go ahead and get like 400 bucks or do I want to do three contracts, get 400 bucks and then ride a runner. And then I'd already be out of that trade on that trend line too. Cause it broke the trend line. I mean, why stay with that trade? It thrust it up, retrace thrust, broke a trend line. You could be flat. Okay. See why you want to do that. Now that's another predictor right there. It's a little higher than the light. Oh, yeah, let's see. Yeah. One tick higher. So that's a predictor trade, but when they double top like that, that didn't ratchet up. Where see this one did, ratchet it up above the swing. That's a legitimate one. This is a lot more iffy of a trade right here. And if you take it, you wanna make sure you put your stop underneath the bar that closes up. Because otherwise they'll fake you. Because when they go sideways like this, that means that they didn't take out the high, so that's not an established low and they haven't checked these swings right back here yet. So if you look to the left to trade the right, they haven't checked that swing right there yet. They haven't checked that one. They have had a higher low here. So basically if they break down, they could easily check that swing right there. Now see that, that's trying to go up. Let's see if it does just for the fun of it. 
This is not a predictor trade that I'd be taking though. But if you do, like I said, you'd have to put your stop literally under the bar that closes up. Because if you put it here, you're going to give up some trade. Okay, see it hadn't closed up yet. And I'll bet it breaks that. But we'll see. It's a legitimate trade. It's just not one of my favorite ones because they double topped. Now, if the bar closes up and you want to take a shot at it, take a shot and sim if you want to. But only if the bar closes up. If the bar closes down, it's going to take out this swing. And then guess what? You're looking for a phantom trade. Okay? So, sideways or trending, you can count on the fact that you'll get some good trade calls. Okay? And keep up with the news, obviously. Like, you don't want to be in oil, for instance, at oil inventory. You don't want to be in equities when uh, non farm payroll comes out on the first uh, Friday of the month. You know, always trade smart. Peace of mind in trading comes from trading correctly. Okay? Because if, if they're going your way, for instance, if you take this trade right here, you really don't want that to take out that line I've just drawn there. Okay? Still hadn't closed up yet, though, has it? Okay? How many of you would like to join me? I'd love to have you. I will call the trades in real time so that you can take them. Okay? I'll also warn you if they're, they're a little bit more iffy. I'll even tell you if they're more aggressive than normal. Because there are some aggressive trades that you can get a quick 10 ticks and then you want to get out. Okay, see how that's trying to close up? Now with my four range bar, I think it already has closed. Let's see. This is why I like four range. Yeah. See, four range closed right there. So you'd already be long on it and you put your stop right there, just like I said. So you're in it and you just keep going. Uh, Rich, uh, you know, Steve, I am not sure uh, what Rich is doing nowadays. He, uh, you know, he, he split off from us, uh, gosh, probably six years ago and went his own direction. So I'm not, I'm not sure what he's doing nowadays. And Charles and I stayed with, with Viper and just kept running the company. Uh, and Charles passed away in September. Yeah, you never know when something's going to get you, and he got cancer, unfortunately. And it was an aggressive, uh, very aggressive type, too. But I am here to run this room. I've got a great website. I own the scripts. You know, uh, praise the Lord that I actually have owned the scripts ever since we met, because I pretty much pay for all of this out of pocket. You know, every new feature that's on Object Trader, I personally paid for out of pocket. These new features like this right here with this region auto and predictors and everything, I paid a little over uh, $10,000 since the first of the year for all this. Object Trader is a great tool. It'll, it'll make you money. You'll be able to see where the trades are. See where I said to take that one, but it went back in the box. You're flat. Did you get 10 ticks? Probably not. Could you have gotten a quick 100 bucks? Yep. Is it still getting? Look at it. Right now, is that a higher low than that one? Don't think so. I think they're the same. Yeah, they're the same. But see how it's still holding if you just used the line that I said, the box itself? Or if you happen to get in on the bar close, like so, that's the bar close. You put your stop just under the box and it didn't get you yet. You know, it's, it's all about getting in at the proper spot. And our stuff will get you in at the proper spot. And I did say you could take a trade like that. That's not my favorite trade, but will I take a trade like that? Well, you get to a point where you're nicely green and you start getting a little bit more uh, cautious of your trades, because if this was to turn around, you'd want to get out of it pretty quickly, okay? So er ever since uh, Charles passed and everything, basically uh, I've turned Viper into a a room that is really, really, really good at, at trade calling for one thing. There's only one moderator, so that makes that either I'm right or I'm wrong. And uh, I've got a really good support team to take care of you. And everything that's on our website, you're welcome to. And if I get new updates, it doesn't matter if I paid 5000 out of pocket for all this stuff right here. 
I give it to people because our traders get exactly what I've got. So even though I've updated this just in the last month even, so from February and March, uh, he hadn't billed me for uh, April just yet, but I, I'm pretty sure I owe him about 3000 for uh, April too because we've been working on some things in here. Okay, so I'll keep you going. You can clearly see I even called this trade before it ever happened simply by teaching you this trade first after a trend change, this trade first after a trend change, this trade since it ratcheted up and I called it before it happened. This trade a little bit more iffy, but box it in. Use your box and you'll be amazed how much money you can make. And that's what I've designed as some good tools. Okay, so let me let me give you the uh, the special because I got to give you a link. Bear with me one second. I'm going to go to. Um, I thought my wife was going to be inside, so let me go to my little lead program real quick, and I'll get you the link. She may have lost track of time out there, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to go to my website builder and Viper Trading Systems. And I'll get you the special offer. Here we go. And I'll copy and paste it for you. I'll put it in your chat log. Now, one thing about the special that I'm offering you on the Apex, that is really only if you go ahead and jump into it. Okay, because I won't pay for a, like a full price with them. But I can tell you this, I've got a lot of people that we bought those Apex accounts and uh, I, I can give you one guy right off the bat. I was just talking to a few minutes ago. Uh, he's got uh, five of the accounts uh, funded and uh, right now they're like 18 bucks. Uh, I've got Apex accounts myself and let me go over to my page here. Let's see, I'm going to go take this uh, connection off because I got to see it on this other computer here. This will take, it'll say it's uh, logging into a separate computer. Bear with this second because I can tell you how many accounts I've got. It's not disconnecting from this one yet. Just a second. Here we go. Okay, logged out of that one. I'm logging into this one over here so I can see my accounts. And I think I've got uh, 18, but you can't have over 20 with your whole family. So Linda's got three, so I've got to burn one, unfortunately. But it's no big deal. I mean, you know, the thing about it is, if you want up to 20 accounts with Apex, you can certainly have them. And there was a guy in December that actually had uh, 20 accounts and he uh, drew 800,000 from Apex in the month of December. Because you can do what's called trade copiers and things like that, if you want to, it's up to you. You know, the thing is I call the trades, you take however many you want. I've got people that take one contract on that trade I just called, uh, some will take three or four. If you took three or four, that's a $500 trade. But if it would have gone below the box, you would have lost about two on it. So it's all relative. Okay, so let me show you this uh, deal here. I'm going to go ahead and go to our website right here. This link that I just sent you is for $249 a month. You can join by PayPal or you can join by Stripe. Now, Stripe, you can use any credit card and it'll just rebill you every month for that price until you decide to call it quits. I've got people that'll be with us and then, you know, 10 months later, they might go on vacation for a month. Fine, just tell Linda and she'll turn this off and then you're welcome back. I've got one guy that literally just recently, he's leaving us for a couple of months because he said he had so much money in his trading account that he was gonna go spend some of it. And that's awesome, I'm, I'm happy for him. But in the meantime, while he's gone, he's, he doesn't want to trade. He just wants to go spend money and have a good vacation with his family. And trading can do that for you. 
I literally bought solar and other things. I mean, just everything that I love, I'm able to do with this type of trade calling. Because if you think about this, two contracts, that's 500, that's probably four, that's a thousand dollar bill already. What if you took this one? I was called in the room, by the way. What if you took that one and, and waited for the thrust retrace and then draw a trend line? Draw another trend line through here, got out, got a phantom, got another one. You can do quite well. So I'd love to have you with us. Um, and if you do decide to join up with us, just keep in mind that you don't have to worry about putting the scripts on and things like that, because I'll be more than happy to do a team bureau with you. Okay. But if you join me today, by tonight, now tonight at 11 o'clock central time, this offer goes off the table for the extra Apex account. Now, I will still give you this. I'm not going to rush you that quick. But if you want a free Apex account, I just go ahead and join up before uh, midnight Eastern time tonight. Okay, Dennis, let's see. When can I install? Uh, as quick as you join up. The website address, yeah, I, I did. It's in the chat log. Uh, this right here, I'll go ahead and copy it again. Copy, paste, and you should have it on your entire audience should be able to see that. Okay, our actual website address, let me just get that for you too. That's our home page. That's our homepage right there, vipertradingsystems.com. We're also on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just kind of getting our feet wet there, so don't think we've got like a million followers yet. We don't. You know, we're not one of those influencers that you probably hear about out there. But you can go to our YouTube page and watch some videos. Our homepage. And once you get your login, you can get all your scripts and everything, okay? With instructions how to put them on and all that, okay? So if you need help, just download TeamViewer. Just click that right there. It'll pop up TeamViewer. You save it. goes to your download folder. Double click it to open it, and you'll get a TeamViewer ID and password, okay? I'd love to have each and every one of you here with me. And I sent this invite to many, many hundreds of more people. I will send out the recording just in case you missed part of it. And I appreciate you for coming in. And let me show you how in real time I can get you nicely green, okay? Because these literally, even when you don't trust them, sometimes just put the little box on them. Because I built this little trader so that you could use that little box, okay? And it's pretty cool. All right, thanks again, everyone. Have a great, blessed rest of your day. Uh, don't forget that I will be available. Uh, if you want to just contact me, uh, our contact information is right there on our contact page. It's got my phone number. Everything's right there. Okay. All right. Come be a part of Viper Trading System. We've been around for 13 years. We're the real deal. And uh, I'll call those trades for you. I will not leave you in, in a lurch. Okay. And you can use some great tools to take them. All right. Any final questions for our wrap? Uh, Andrew, on your question, if you're still here, uh, give me a call on that because I could probably do that for you if, if you want to pay like an annual instead. I'll work with you on that. Yeah, if anybody else wants to pay it like a full year or something, I'll, I'll give you another discount. Well, let's see, David. Uh, sorry, I don't quite understand how to enter the trade. For example, we put predictor and when price touched it, it triggers the trade. Yes, uh, David, on your question. See, like for instance, remember, this little trade right here that I said even before it got here, we were looking for a predictor trade. So what I personally like to do on the first one, I like to get it right at the top of the predictor. For some reason, the second one, you want to get in the middle of the predictor. So what I do in a case like that, see the middle of the predictor, those little dots? I like to get that trade right there at those dots. And also look at your fibs too. That's very important. Okay. But if you get in, like, say, for instance, at the middle of the predictor, like right here when it bounces through it, that's a, a good entry on that second move. Now, by the third move, you want to get it even lower on the bottom of the predictor, okay? Because the first one out of the gate will usually be 
right at the predictor. See it right there? Well, that one's the middle, pretty close, but still that's a decent trade. You didn't lose hardly anything on it as it rolled over because it didn't roll over to that bar. So that would have never fired on your predictor until it actually went back down through it. So that would have been a, a good legit 219.30 uh, to 20 on an entry. Okay. Pretty cool scripts, aren't they? See how they totally tell you which side of the trade to be on? Why would you want to be anywhere else but with stuff that tells you right where to get in and gives you peace of mind trading futures? And I was getting ready to tell you too, and I, I couldn't uh, load my uh, Apex over here. I'm loading it now. I can tell you how many I've got. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen accounts, but I've got to burn one of them because my wife, I mean, this one I haven't turned over to a, a PA yet because if you do and you go over 20, Apex will jump you. You don't want that. So if you do Apex like husband and wife or same household, son or something like that, or daughter, then be sure that you only do 20 at the max, okay? But keep in mind, if you had like 18 fully funded accounts and you traded each one of them, what, what if you just traded this trade right here that I called toward the end of this webinar with two contracts, but you trade copied on five of your accounts? Well, you just made 400 times five, that's $2,000. All you have to do is copy the trade, okay? All right, let's see. I don't have a number on my far right of my side of the horizon line. Not sure why, Aaron. Uh, probably what you haven't done, Aaron, uh, you need to put that toolbar in, and I'll be more than happy to help you with that. That toolbar has to be put into your indicator file. Okay, all right, so uh, bear with me a little bit because you know I am a small company. It used to be Charles, myself, and Linda, and even Rich years ago. Now it's just Gary and Linda uh, because the partner did pass away September 28th of last year. And uh, so I'm here to help you, but I'm also just one person, okay? And I will help you. And I haven't found anybody that can do any better support than I can anyway, so I just do all the support too. Okay, so give me a shout. Uh, I've got the phones turned off right this very second. I'm gonna turn them back on. We're completing the webinar. Thanks everybody for coming. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, come be part of the team. See you later.